Now, rivers are a major concern in the wake of Sally. Brianna Hollis is live from the Sticks River Shooting Center in Robertsdale. And Bree, we know that part of it is still underwater. Oh yeah, guys, you're supposed to be able to walk through all of this. You're not even supposed to be seeing any water over here. The Sticks River is all the way on the other side of those trees. So right now, I was talking to Caroline Carruthers earlier today. She said Sticks River is at major flood stage, and this is what we're looking at right now. Again, the river is all the way on the other side of that tree line. Not supposed to see any water over here. Now going the other way. Back there, where you kind of just see the road ending, that is a huge sight to see here as well. There's an RV park about a mile down, and you can't get a car through that right now, let alone an RV. And that is harsh reality. A couple we spoke with today found out as they drove here, hoping to get a look at their vacation camper. Well, it's, it's probably back there, but underwater probably. So, you, would you guys today just came out to see if what was going on? Yeah, no, nah, we yeah we were going to come up here and check on it and make sure there was no trees on it and make sure that it was in good condition. But you can't get there because the river is up so high. Did permanently, permanently, excuse me, live there, but they said they do believe most of them ended up evacuating. And Sheriff Hosmag did come out earlier this week to say that it was imperative that anyone near the Styx River, Perdido River, or Fish River get out as soon as possible. Reporting live along the Styx River in Robertsdale, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.